All right, so we are going to look at this art criticism of Cindy Sherman. Uh, so our first slide here asks us to fill in the artist's name, title, and date. All of that information is right up over here on our slide in the assignment. Um, so the artist, as I mentioned, is Cindy Sherman. The title of this artwork is Spring Look 430 2019. Uh, and I'll explain why that title is the way it is in a, a little bit. Uh, and the date of the artwork is 2019. That's when it was created. Um, so go ahead and fill out that informational slide, the artist info, and pause this, unpause when you're ready to move on to describe. Okay, ready for describe then. We're going to click in this box. We're going to just bullet point list out five things we see. So we could say a woman. We could say leaves, we could say eyelashes, uh, we could say red hair, um, there's wavy background, there's a picture in the background, um, you could add all kinds of other things too. Go ahead and add what you see as the most um, striking features of this picture into the describe, pause me, unpause me when you are ready for the analyze section. Okay, analyze. It says incomplete sentences explain what color groups um, is mostly used, or what color group is mostly used in this photo and what types of colors, or what type of text, oof, Let's start this over. For analyze, incomplete sentences explain what color group is mostly used in the photo and what types of textures you see and where in the artwork you see them. So the first one first, in a complete sentence, what colors do we see? What are the main color groupings that we see? Okay, so hopefully somebody just said the complementary colors of red and green. Yes, of course, good job. Um, so we can say, we see complementary pair of red and green in the body and hair of the woman. Um, kind of her face too, like her eyelashes are a reddish color, her face is a peachy pink kind of color, which is um, in the same um, space as red, it's just like a lighter version of it, like pinks are lighter versions of reds. Um, so yeah, um, the next one is going to be textures. Where and what do we see as textures? So we're going to say there's textures in the leaves, or we'll say, say leafy textures in the body, wavy textures in the background, and hair texture, oop, that's not how you spell texture, texture in the hair, and since we're telling them what type of them, not just what they are, so I've listed out where all of these are. I did the kind of opposite of what the direction said. These are where they all are. What type of, of textures are they? These are all emulated visual textures. Sorry about that. I started writing the definition because they imitate real life, but they are called simulated visual textures. Go ahead and pause me while you fill in the rest of Analyze. Unpause me when you are ready for Interpret. Okay, so Interpret, there's a lot of backstory that I want to give you about Cindy Sherman. Um, she's an American artist who has been working for many, many decades now. Um, she spent most of her career up until this point photographing herself as different characters, generally meant to look like archetypal female characters from 1950s or 1960 movies. Um, archetypal just means like a perfect example of. Uh, so she pretended she was like their stills 
and even called them like movie stills was like the title of the artwork. Um, however, as she has gotten older, as instant or er, social media and Instagram has started to become popular, she has actually started creating work for those mediums. So this is one of her recent creations that she put on Instagram, recent being 2019, and we're, you know, getting a couple years away from that now. Um, she uses photo manipulating apps to distort, distort her features. Most people use those tools to make themselves look nicer or to make their lives look nicer, but Sherman uses them to transform herself into bizarre digital characters. I think we can all agree that the photo above is definitely bizarre. Uh, she is quoted as saying, I am trying to make other people recognize something of themselves rather than me. So she does not see her works as self-portraits. Um, what do you think she means by that? What does it mean she's trying to make other people recognize something of themselves rather than recognize her in the photo? Uh, go ahead and answer that in complete sentences. I want to hear what you have to say, so I'm not going to fill this in for you. Uh, when you are done filling in the interpret, go ahead and unpause this video and you can watch the judgment section. Alright, judgment. You are going to select an aesthetic theory, that is imitationalism. Does this look real? I think that one's pretty obvious. Formalism, are the techniques used well? Emotionalism, did it make you feel something when you looked at it? Uh, and judge whether or not this is a good thing. So imitation, if it looks real, good painting. Formalism, if it's well created, good painting. Emotionalism, if you felt something, good painting. But the important part is you have to tell me why or why not. If you don't support what your opinion is with the why, you don't get the credit for telling me what your opinion is. When you have finished the judgment section, you can go ahead and click submit on the assignment and you are all set for this art criticism.